So I mentioned that we've got about 300 acres of woodlands. Um, so that's not 300 acres that I don't have to worry about, right? Because that's those are actively managed as well. Um, and and probably the best way for me to put it is that we don't we don't look at every acre every year, but over about over the course of about five years, we're going to look at every acre. And that's not me in particular. We're going to have specialists that are coming in that that are that are evaluating those acres, and they're looking for invasive species. They're looking for um, uh, a, a disproportion of the species that are there. You know, do we have too many maples and not enough oaks, just for example. Um, one issue that we're currently working on is fighting uh, a tree called Tree of Heaven, uh, which is an invasive tree to Kentucky. Um, and so we've got some pretty significant problems with that in a few areas. Uh, so we've got a, a timber stand improvement contract with the Natural Resource Conservation Service to uh, to do some management on that. And that's actually a two-part management process. The first part is you come in there and you do a, a, a girdle or a hack and squirt. So you you, you you break the bark of the tree and you, in, you inject a herbicide, but then you have to come back the following year and do what's called brush management because that, that particular species is absolutely prolific at sending up root suckers. And so you got to come back in the following year and probably this, two years after as well and control those root suckers that are coming up. Um, so you're talking about, we've got about 60 acres of woodlands that we're going to be doing that project on um, and that's that's a that's quite a quite a project. Uh, so I'm really thankful for uh, the the funding and, and cost share support from NRCS to do that project uh, because it allows me to hire someone to do that work that's a specialist in that kind of in that kind of work. Um, I don't consider myself a grazing or a, or a, or a crop specialist, but I'm a heck of a lot more comfortable with it than I am forest management, and so I really rely on the specialist uh, to to help me in that area. Um, and I'm glad that there's funding available to help with those kinds of things as well, because it's a, it's a, it's an important resource uh, for not only for the potential economic value in the future, but for for wildlife, um, for sequestering carbon. Uh, I mean, that's that's something that's that uh, you know has some real potential for potentially income streams for farms. You know, if you can if you can prove how much carbon you're sequestering, that that could potentially uh, be an income stream for you.